The Venus Project is a veritable blueprint for the genesis of a new world civilization based on human concern and environmental reclamation. It proposes a holistic social design in which automation and technology would be intelligently integrated to maximize the quality of life rather than simply profits. Undesirable behaviors are products of long exposure to detrimental environments. If we wish to surpass the limitations of our present day society, such as war, hunger, poverty, and bigotry, we need to make changes and arrange society very differently. Most of our problems today are technical, but we still look for solutions through political means in a monetary system. We have the resources. Money is an interference because it limits our ability and it limits our dreams. Modern society has access to highly advanced technologies and can make available food, clothing, housing, medical care, a relevant educational system, and at the same time develop a limitless supply of renewable, clean energy such as geothermal, tidal, solar, wind, and more. The solutions lie in the intelligent and humane application of science and technology and more appropriate resource management in order to supply goods and services to everyone equitably, enabling the entire global population a very high standard of living. We don't have enough money to accomplish this, but we do have enough resources. If we initiate what Jacques Fresco calls a resource-based economy, this is where all goods and services are available to everyone without money, credit, barter, or servitude of any kind. For this to be attained, all resources must be declared as the common heritage of all the Earth's people. Imagine the possibilities of an unprecedented mobilization of scientific and technical alliances toward problem solving without the interference of money or politics to initiate global unification and restoration. The Venus Project would start with a systems approach to city design using highly effective construction methods, emphasizing the conservation of resources. The first city would be a huge research center, making automated systems for the next city. It would be a place where we would disseminate information as to what sustainability really means for the future. The aim of the city is to constantly maximize existing and future technologies with the sole purpose of enhancing all human life and protecting the environment. The society I'm talking about is global cooperation, where all the nations work toward improving the lot of humankind. Now why do that? Because the smarter people are, the richer and more secure everybody is. We have the tools at hand to design and build a future that is worthy of the human potential. It is imperative that we continue the process of social experimentation in order to transcend our present limitations and truly create the beginning of a civilized age.